Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Fuse Nelp. And today, I am doing a quick, somewhat quick, hacking video and also Windows tutorial video to help you out on a Windows 10 security flaw that Microsoft has allowed you to have by default. So you might be freaking out by that statement and you have right so and I'll explain a little bit more in a bit because this is really 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 stupid for Microsoft to allow this. But uh, one thing I want to ask you is watch this video and understand it and understand why I'm asking you this. If you don't understand, go ahead and, and leave a question down below on why I'm asking you to share it. But share this video with everyone that you know that could be a potential victim of this problem. So basically anyone who's going to have one of stints so pretty much everyone. And um, if you got, uh, if, if you just want to tell them how to fix it, then go ahead. I just don't want people to be messed over by this stupid mistake. So, as far as things goes, basically what Windows 10 has done is they have, by default, allowed your contacts to share their Wi-Fi passwords and for you to share your Wi-Fi passwords with each other. And um, the problem with this is this is a heaven ground for black hats. Now, what do I mean? Basically, what's happening is if you are someone who does business or really has a bunch of people who you don't care for being on your network, actually um, has them in your contacts, Facebook, uh, Outlook, and Skype, and several others. Well, if, if you have them in your contacts, then what would end up happening is they will automatically have access to your Wi-Fi network. This causes problems for one thing, is if they have a, even if they're not Black Hat themselves, for those who don't know what Black Hats are, White Hats are like guys like me. It's basically people who find these problems, present it out to the public, and also they, we may get some money from companies or from um, whatever for finding them and um, and making it public so no one gets hurt by it. Companies pay for finding these exploits all the time. Um, Tesla has like five thousand dollars if you find an exploit. Arc um, survival game, they have two hundred dollars if you find an exploit. Google has five hundred dollars if you find an exploit because really this is the only way to find exploits and a lot of people make a lot of money from it. So, with people like me telling you this, it's kind of important for you to listen up. Especially if we're not making money. Because in this one, I'm not making any money. I'm pointing it out. The uh, black cats, basically what went up happening is they can end up, in fact, a phone, a uh, Windows 8 phone, a tablet, a laptop, a desktop, transfers. they're not going to move desktops, so I won't worry about that one. But say they bring their laptop over, which is highly possible, then um, they can their laptop automatically connects to your network. Their laptop has a virus on it, and let's say the password's automatically shared beforehand. Well, if the hacker coded the virus right, then the virus will steal that password, so they now know your password, plus the location of where that password's good for. And um, then, let's say the person brings their laptop over, they automatically connect to your Wi-Fi without you, without asking you. The uh, laptop that's infected now has the ability to infect all other systems on your network if it doesn't have uh, proper firewalls and stuff. And that's highly possible if you're talking about the average user because the average user is not going to be like me because I, this is my thing. 
So, in fact, I can tell you that the average user doesn't won't even care to protect their stuff this much because it does take a lot of time and it slows down their entire system because they got to make sure they're not being affected. So what's happening is, say, you got some Joe Blow idiot that comes over with an infected machine. They don't know it's infected. They connect to your Wi-Fi. Everything on your network or a lot of things on your network is now infected. So potentially your computer, which probably not, but um, your DVR box, if you got a security camera system, if you got some other systems, there you go. And then on top of that, the thing has it where you can connect to their Wi-Fi spots and you can connect to um, hotspots. And this is a problem in itself. The reason why is, let's say they are a black hat. Basically what happens is, and I, I know I'm drawing in and the solution is like two seconds, but I just really, really want you guys to understand how severe this one is. Um, say the, they are a black hat or the hotspot is owned by a black hat. Basically all the uh, hotspot for a black hat has to be if you're in New York, all you have to say is free um, New York City hotspot or Wi-Fi. And um, you can get a ton of people connected to it. There's been tests where it's happened in several cities, I think seven cities, three airports and so on, where within the first 30 seconds of releasing a Wi-Fi hotspot, uh, using a laptop or something else to make a hotspot and this is a black hat doing it well in this case is a white hat because they're trying to get the statistics they uh, they were able to get 30 people in some cases up to 90 people connected to it in um, less than a minute this means that if they want to get information from these people they can get it credit card information your emails someone and and how exactly does it work well basically any information that you sent it has to go through that hotspot to the internet so it collects it from there and then it has to go through the hotspot to your computer to come back so say you're downloading an email or something so they collect it from there the only way to combat that is by using VPNs and encryption and stuff. And most people don't. So you can probably see, hopefully, why this would upset me and many other people who are like myself. Where we don't want you guys to be affected. So, again, if a white hat's telling you this and they ain't making money, listen. So, how do you fix it? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, let's get into the short and easy, uh, stupid way. If you don't want your own Wi-Fi to be shared, this needs to be fixed. And I, I honestly think it's done. Scrap. But basically, you just name your Wi-Fi whatever it is. And then at the end, it's under slash opt out. It's, it's dumb as crap. It's dumb. Because then you got, say for example, you got 70 devices on your network. You got to get them all back on it. It's dumb. But, there you go. And, and, and that only protects you from people going to your Wi-Fi hotspot. But, you know, with a flick of switch, with uh, changing code... That could be pointless. So let's go into the actual way to fix this. Go into the start and then go into the settings. So go into settings and then go into network and internet. Then scroll all the way down until you see manage Wi-Fi settings. And then right here where it says connect to suggested open hotspots unselect that 
that's done. Then it says connect to the network shared by my contacts. Unselect that. Or if you are risky and dumb, I'm just going to say that you're just dumb if you leave that selected. Sorry if you get offended, but you are dumb if you leave that selected. Then, um, especially after what I just told you, then at least uncheck all the things below. And keep in mind that list can grow based on applications you have. So I suggest just uncheck that and there you go. It fixes that. There's no more of a problem. That, that, that fixes it. So as far as that goes, again, I'm going to ask you, share this video or at least share the knowledge and then make sure that you are not a patsy for a black hat. Make sure that you uh, aren't giving your Wi-Fi password away for free. And, and I want to add one last thing before I end this video. I think it's dumb that Microsoft's done this because one thing that many people like myself has and it's becoming more and more popular is something called a guest Wi-Fi network. If you're buying a Wi-Fi router and you get guests once in a while, even as like once a year, you can actually set up a the Wi-Fi router to have a guest profile. What that is is basically they will be on their own network. It won't be as fast, but it's only really meant for a handful of people, like five or so. And then what happens is if they have a virus, they don't affect your system because it's totally separate networks. Even though it's the same router, totally separate networks. And, um, and, and what happens is they can't talk to your equipment. You can't talk to them. But, on top, but this will allow them to connect to the internet to do whatever they need to do. And then... Uh, go from there and also they don't need to know your main Wi-Fi password they don't need to know any of that so it's their own little private network it's kind of like um, if you think about a company where a retail store or a hotel or something they might have a uh, network for their cash registers for their computers themselves and then a guest network and the reason for that is they don't want you as a guest to somehow accidentally or on purpose have access to the cash register to have access to their main computers so that's very important to note but anyways as far as that goes hopefully you guys took my warning and hopefully you guys shared this but uh, if you did like this go ahead and leave a like subscribe and share and if you do have any questions or comments or anything like that Feel free to leave that down below and feel free to check out my hacking videos to get more of in depth on these type of problems like this. But uh, if you didn't like this for whatever reason, go ahead and leave a dislike and tell me why it's so I can fix it in future videos. But if you want to help us out, feel free to check out our, our Patreon campaign and PayPal donations. I uh, hope that you liked this video and um, see you in the next and have a great day.